Yo, what's up guys? This is Marcus Folds with ADK Music back with another tutorial. And today I'm going to teach you about how to use mid-side EQ to EQ your beats and kind of get the mids out of it when it's unnecessary. Um, the only way you would want to use this when you're trying to make like a beat for like the OVO camp like Drake, Party Next Door, Majid Jordan, Warrior Woods is usually when like you have those pads and those like instruments that's like really don't have a lot of high information sonically so it's really mid heavy and low end focused you know so this would be a great technique to help out with those beats and give like a better mix so i'll just pay, play this beat i have for you right now Okay, so basically you hear the beat, uh, not not that bad, but it's like for me when I'm hearing it as in trying to mix it, I hear that the mids are a little bit too much for the beat that I'm trying to go for that OVO kind of sound. So essentially, let me highlight this part, which is the chorus, and let me put it on. So let me use the EQ. I'm going to use a Fab Filter Pro Q3. Essentially, um, FL Studio does not have like a native um eq that does mid side eq i know that you can set it up in fl studio but it takes like another plugins but i don't know that route i have the fab filter pro q3 here which has a mid side eq functionality but to save time i'm going to use my mid side pre uh, mid side eq preset i already have and essentially what i want what you're doing with the mid side eq the mids is the middles and the sides are like the stereo field and so essentially with the mids i'm cutting out the low end because i don't want the mids of the instruments cutting low end clashing with my kicks and 808s and claps and snares which is in the mid and the 808s and the kicks are in the low end so i don't want those to clash so and then with the size i'm also cutting out the low information on the size because that could also make the instruments sound muddy so basically i'm just keeping them the, for everything from the mids to the high mids to the highs up in the, in the instrument um so I'm gonna play the beat without it, the instruments without it, sorry. My bad, I forgot to solo it. Now I'm about to play it with it. I mean, if you have headphones, you could have heard the difference where like it was all the um, instrument with the pad was all in the mid and then all of a sudden it's like the mid kind of kind of like decrease and like it made some breathing room for the mid mid and like the sides were more prominent when you heard the, heard the uh, instrument. And that's this is grateful for especially when you're giving a beat to artists helps the engineer like mix the beat faster essentially so because you already made a pocket within the instruments where the artist's vocal is essentially supposed to go to so gives the artist some space and gives the beat the mid-range of the beat some space so the case could even kicks in the ada could even like you know be more pronounced and the claps and the snares are more pronounced so basically that's kind of it so i'm going to put it on the second instrument which is like a another like it's like a keyboard i should hear the difference with that one too so i'm going to play you without This is about to be the one with. I see how there's like more, there's more mid range in the higher frequency. So basically, I'm gonna probably take this bell and like just increase it, the the area that's gonna like be take out the mids for it to give it to like make more room in the mids i'm 
I mean, if you can hear, you actually hear like the sides are more pronounced. So what I usually do for my side bands, I increase it just a little bit just to make the sides more pronounced, the stereo field, and the mids could come down. So like, I'm gonna play both of them on, so and you can hear the kicks and the 808 and the clap. You can hear that it's gonna be more pronounced. And I'm gonna like A B it to see what when you have it off and on. So this is with it on. And then this is what they're off. And I'm gonna put it back on one more time so you can hear the difference from, from it being off and then on. Yeah, when you have it on, you can hear like the kick and the snares and the hi hats, and the clap, which is more in the mid areas, and then like in the middle, and the mid information. They're like more pronounced when I did it when I had it off, where like I felt like the instruments were taking over the mid and that little mid area pocket, and some of the low end because I didn't do the mid side EQing gives like your beats more like it feels like your beats have more breathing room. It's like is instantly when the artist wants to like get on the beat you could just put it on it's like it's like easier for the artist to put their vocals because their vocals are going to be in the mid i mean that's basically it for midside eqing if anything i would highly recommend you get the fab filter pro q3 i mean there's other eqs out there that could do midside eqing but i just like the pro q3 because it has a lot of features just besides the midside eqing and it has like dynamics to it but Essentially, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Leave a comment down below what you want to see next. I mean, we have a lot of information to offer, so go crazy. Um, follow me on Instagram at Marcus Volts. Follow the team at 80K underscore music. And I'll see you in the next tutorial, guys. Peace.